ऐसे trying to do Take care. Ah, you're back.
Time right now. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. Chill, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Can this get any more obvious? could say that so the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length the place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room hey how much longer does this go i swear i'm not gonna hmm. <laughs> what's going on i can't stand all this noise hey asshole my apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. 
I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who will get the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. Alright, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. I'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. All right. machines and get cake instead
Nice. Well then. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah! It's Akechi! Oh, he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, akechi -kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the phantom thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the phantom thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? 